Diego, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Big week for you guys. We're going to get into that. Let's start by talking about the Atlanta match. You guys go to the 5-3-2 formation for the first time this year, get a 1-1 draw. What are your thoughts on the match? Uh, it was a very hard game. I mean, a, a big field. They uh, push a lot of numbers forwards, but we, we knew about it. We expected that. And uh, we tried to manage with a different formation uh, using, uh, you know, our wing backs, most likely Albas. And I think we, we did it really well. We exploited uh, very well the, their spaces they, they left for us, uh, you know, with like with almost three in the back uh, all the time for them. But uh, we, we used really well Albas and we created a lot of chances. Uh, obviously, they attacked a lot, but it was a very good performance. We've seen a lot of different formations this year under the manager. What's important from a player's standpoint to be able to adjust to so many different formations? The most important is to know the concept, you know, that we have. The concept doesn't change. Probably formation uh, change, uh, but uh, when the ball moves, formation change all the time. So at the end, uh, you, it's just a little pieces, but the concept has to be the same, you know, being compact uh, and don't let them play uh, balls through the lines defensively, right? And then in the attack, combined with good passes, attacking dynamically, and, and, and that's the concept, right? And then from their move, it depends the game. We're talking about style, when you look at the starting players against Atlanta, out of the 22 players, 10 from South America, how different has the style changed in MLS from when you first came in to what we're seeing now? Yeah, of course, it's changing a lot, and, and uh, which is really good is that it's young, most likely young people which are deciding to come uh, from uh, South America. And uh, I like it. I mean, I think uh, South American players has a lot to, to bring to this league. And, and I think it's, it's, it's perfect. Speaking of that, four of those 10 that Ross mentioned are going to be in the All-Star game with you, Diego Valeri, because for the fifth time, Diego Valeri is an MLS All-Star. The Fan 11 was announced this week. The first 11 All-Stars, Diego Valeri, among them. The MLS All-Star game, August 1st. It's actually back in Atlanta against Juventus. We'll reveal the rest of the Fan 11 later on in the breakaway, but Diego, this is an honor that you felt multiple times before. This is the first time actually the fans the ones that have voted you in. What does uh, this honor mean to you? Yes, I mean, it's a big honor, and uh, like, as you say, the first time uh, vote from, from the fans, and, uh, you know, just uh, it makes me happy, you know, because um, um, uh, it's my sixth season here, it's not easy, and, uh, you know, I, I, that's one of my goals, to maintain level and uh, it's always enjoyable MLS All-Star and I will try to, to give the best that game. Do you see this game as being very important in terms of exposing MLS to the world stage and for a lot of eyes not just in North America, a lot of eyes outside the world to be watching MLS and look at the standard? Of course, of course, uh, as you said and uh, you can you can see that uh, the day of the game because it's, it's, uh, it's a friendly but <laughs> when the when the balls start to move uh, it's, 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 uh, it's a real game so uh, players wants to show and wants to represent MLS and their teams, you know, with a good performance that game, and and that's that's great. Remember a couple tackles, Will Johnson and Schweinsteiger going <laughs> yes, in there, yeah, didn't yeah, become Portland. a friendly pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For you, Diego, big picture with, with this team as we kind of start to, to talk about Seattle. But what do you feel you guys are at now, three four months into the season, um, and on this 11 game unbeaten run? I think we're in a good moment, uh, as I say, trying to. Uh, work and, and improve from that concept we have as a team and uh, as a group, right? And uh, in that we are in that part of the season where, besides the unbeaten uh, stretch we have now, is is a good moment to to make a difference with points, right? And and to be higher on on the on the table. And and we have the rival, so the, the this derby now um, we can beat them on the road, and then we have a couple games at home where we can make more, more points and, and be higher on the, on, the, on the table because we don't have, uh, there's a lot of teams with more games than us. 